My name is Bill Kramer. I'm chief of the Alaska Smoke Jumpers. We're part of the Alaska Fire Service, which is part of the BLM and Department of Interior. Um, and our mission, in its most simplest sense, is to protect life, property, and resources. It is a challenging field, and it's getting harder. And we're constantly trying to improve our skills and knowledge and our abilities. And sometimes we do that through new tools, new technologies. Um, and JPADS is an example of that. The smoke jumpers have been involved with JPADS for you know five, six years, but we only had a few units, so they were really reserved only like on a critical medical emergency. This year, we finally had enough units. They were donated from the military, military surplus, that we could actually use them a little bit more. And uh, Gold King was a situation where you know you probably could get down low level. Uh, but maybe not, and the nice thing about J-Pads is that you can just say, yep, at 3 o'clock I'm going to be delivering a bundle. Just real quick, give me your first and last name if you don't mind. Levi Doran. And Levi, what's your role here with AFS? Uh, so I'm one of the smoke jumpers here and I work back here in Paracargo as well. So we're looking at a pallet of essentially that's some fuel, um, some other cargo too. And how we're going to deliver that is with the J-Pad system, so joint position uh, airdrop. Essentially, it's a computer that will control a ram air parachute. Uh, so given the situation today, like if it's raining and we don't have the ceiling to drop, we can fly up uh, at a higher elevation or higher altitude, kick this out with pre-programmed coordinates for where our drop zone is going to be, and this can deliver it with essentially no ceiling on the ground. So this is the uh, computer unit essentially. Uh, it is GPS guided. There's a couple of servo motors here to allow the thing to steer. And so it'll get right to the target on the ground where the where the smoke jumpers are or where the crews are so they have the supplies they need. In theory, yeah. <laughs> it's a computer. Uh, on the uh, uh, Gold King, um, the Forest Service uh, loaned us uh, a unit that's good up to, up to 2,000 pounds. And they had about 1,800 pounds, I think, on that bundle. 30 seconds. We dropped these at 5,000 AGL, 5,000 feet above ground, and it has that amount of uh, altitude to play with. It is under a very large uh, square parachute. It's about three times the size of our personnel chutes, roughly uh, 1,000 square feet. Three, two, one, hit. As it exits the aircraft, uh, cable is pulled, the circuitry there, that starts a timer. It rides the drogue for, I believe, about six seconds. And then the main canopy deploys, and it will begin taking inputs from its position over the ground and steering with the servo motors here. One of the main advantages is it doesn't require clear air. We can fly uh, IFR. Uh, the pilot doesn't have to see anything. The kickers don't have to see anything. The guys on the ground don't have to see anything. And we can deliver it within about a 100 meter uh, uh, circle. And you can resupply your uh, firefighters on the ground, no matter what the weather is. Yeah, that's the slider. It slows the opening. Turn in. Nailed it.